I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T. E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, 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 so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right arsehole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. Oh shit, it's a trap. They're here, take cover! You got it. We've got 
want to get out. Just keep moving forward. We'll find a way out. The guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel Kali Desert. Right here. Well... <laughs> 
I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian, Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Jesus, they brought a small army with them. One of Talbot's men. Was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. 
Sabian's script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a knocking script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Ah, oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, much better. You know, one of the... <laughs> This is it. Here, hold this, will you? Sure. <clears throat> Look, it's some sort of amulet. Something written here. <laughs> Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh huh. It's in Sabean script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, <laughs> from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. Shit. Damn it! Sully, I'm stuck! Help me out! Shit. It's them! Get down! That was close, huh? You all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Just swell. Here. Just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Oh, come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this? No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. 
Sully, if we were followed... Oh, shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. I sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlow and Talbot think we're dead, we got the element of surprise. Let's not waste it. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage taken type. Let's just go with best case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. <laughs> right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. What was that? Ah! <laughs> What was that? What the hell? Why aren't you in France? We're rescuing you? From what? We thought you were captured. Or worse. Wait, why? Uh, well, uh, Talbot ambushed us at the chateau. It was a trap. Yeah, we figured they must have followed you, too. Well, yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So we might want to think about keeping it down a little. Uh, what happened to you two? We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete ripoff. <laughs> what? Mine's broken. Again? Look, just forget all that. You'll never guess what we've discovered. I've got it all in here. <laughs> Not only did Elizabeth's spy network stretch all the way over here, but they were all part of some sort of hermetic secret society. The British Occult Secret Service, the School of Night, the Hellfire Club, the Order of the Golden Dawn, they're all connected. So John Dee... And Francis Walsingham, and Walter Raleigh, and even your mate Drake, they were all in on it. But for them, it was all about the power. Controlling their enemies through espionage, deception, fear. Hey, guys. Wait, 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 wait. So Marlow and her crew are the same secret order 400 years on. We cut to the goddamn chase, please. Yeah, we really need to keep moving. Sure, sure. Here, look. Quad est superius. As secret quad est inferius. As above, so below. That's the key to all of this. We need to get to the highest point of this castle. <laughs> Thus, the stairs. Well done. We should be able to find our way into the crypts with this clue. Now, the entrance has got to be hidden here someplace. There. That's the highest tower. Okay. So we just need to make our way Look across... Out. Oh, shit. Bollocks. Get down. <sighs> now what? All right. The only way to the tower is through them. Great. Whatever happened to that sneak-in, sneak-out plan? You what? We can't quit now. Yeah, not when we're so close. Come on. We'll find a way around them. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, clear. Got it. 